Imagine being able to control a robotic arm just by thinking. No buttons, no remote, just your thoughts. Well, two young inventors from Kenya have turned this science fiction idea into reality. What happens when humans begin combining biology with technology? It is the power to recode life itself. This is the world of biotechnology. Hello and welcome to my African Village TV, your guide to the hidden treasures of Africa. Two young Kenyan friends have invented a robotic arm that can be moved just by thinking. David Gatu and Moses made the special prosthetic arm using affordable parts like wood, plastic and metal scraps. This invention could change lives for people who have lost their limbs. The amazing device can turn thoughts into robotic arm motions. Sensors on the skin catch brain signals that happen when someone thinks about moving their arm. A computer changes those brain waves into electrical currents to make the robotic joints and fingers move. So just by imagining turning their wrist or grabbing something, the user can make the prosthetic arm twist and grip as if it was their own limb. This makes using the replacement arm feel natural. This is an anaparim by robotic hand prosthetic that uses uh, brain signals to locomote its hand, to move the hand according to your desires. This biorobotic hand uh, uses those brain signals and converts those brain signals, uh, amplifies them, uh, filters them, then converts them into electronic current. And this electronic current is further uh, pushed forward to the uh, circuit of the robot, meaning it can convert user's thought into robotic arm. Movement. The two men had to overcome many hardships on their journey to inventing the arm. They had both struggled to pay for college and had to drop out early on. But they kept studying robots and technology on their own while working other jobs. Well, people across Africa are starting to support the project, recognizing how many lives could be changed. With further progress, thought-reading arms may soon reach thousands in Kenya and all across Africa. And we are moving to the amazing tech-inspired school in Kenya. Crawford International School is at the forefront technological innovation in education, not only in Kenya but across the African continent. What inspired me to compete in this Game Jam competition was the fact that I can do graphic designs, which is what I wanted to do in, as my future career. The school has introduced a revolutionary AI-powered custom tech learning platform, ADV Learn. This platform developed in collaboration with private education provider, ADV Tech Group, tailors learning experiences to the unique needs and pace of each student. STEAM is the core or is the foundation of learning today. At Crawford, we take STEAM as five disciplines in one. Let me define it for you. STEAM is S-T-E-A-M, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Let me take an example, science. Science, what we do, we usually lie us with the science teachers and the physics teachers to see so what have the students done in regard to electrical circuits. Then they come to the STEAM lab or the Go lab, and they now assemble the circuits practically. They learn it in class, theoretically, and then they come and apply it practically in the STEAM lab. It utilizes algorithms to analyze individual learning styles, strength, and areas for improvement, enabling the creation of custom learning pathways. 
The platform also furnishes teachers with a thorough understanding of students' performance, allowing them to adapt their teaching strategies in response to evolving needs of every learner. Technology. Once they assemble the circuits, they now learn how do they automate. Remember, automation is a key thing in today's era. Industries are, are replacing people with machines. So automation is a key aspect of learning STEAM. So the technology bit is where we now show them. Once you assemble these electrical circuits and it has a microcontroller, how exactly do you program it to be fully autonomous? For example, you've seen um, some doors which are uh, biometrics. You've seen some cars which are fully autonomous. So it's all about automation in the technological aspect. Africa's young digitally literate population is fueling this rapid technological development. The many successes of these recent years and a host of fast-growing tech companies across the continent are creating hope for more fantastic feats in years to come. In addition, Crowford International School in Kenya is a beacon of technological innovation in the field of education, not just within the confines of Kenya, but across the entire African continent. The school has made significant strides in integrating technology into its curriculum, thereby revolutionizing the learning experience for its students. And so we're moving on to Inasin Motors in the space of Nigeria. I know that most of you are not even aware that someone in Nigeria is not assembling cars, he's not assembling them. He is producing cars from the scratch. And so Inasin Motors is the first and only indigenous automobile company in Nigeria funded by Chief Innocent Chukuma. It produces a range of vehicles from salon cars to SUVs, vans, buses and trucks that are durable, affordable and tailored to the needs and preferences of the African market. Innocent Motors is not only creating jobs and boosting the local economy in the eastern part of Nigeria, but also inspiring a new generation of African innovators and entrepreneurs. Innocent Motors is not only the only example of tech innovation in Africa. Across the continent, there are many startups and initiatives that are using technology to solve some of the most pressing challenges and create opportunities for growth and development. For instance, in Kenya, there is M-Pesa, a mobile money service that has revolutionized financial inclusion and empowerment. In Morocco, there is a 200 company automotive cluster that is launching R&D initiatives linking manufacturers to universities. In South Africa, there is a dynamic health technology ecosystem that includes more than 120 companies. And in Egypt, there is a fast-growing startup ecosystem that attracts incubators, entrepreneurship training, and investing funds. Do we make mention of Uganda, Rwanda, Botswana, etc.? These are just some of the examples of how technology is transforming Africa and creating a positive impact on the lives of millions of Africans. Technology is not only a tool, but also a catalyst for change and a source of hope and pride. That's why I'm so passionate about Innocent Motors and the tech innovations in Africa, and I hope you are too. Wow. What an inspiring journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on the power of technology to change lives in Africa. Until I see you guys in the next video, my name is Splendor. God bless you.